something most if not all art enthusiasts in the city of Nairobi were missing surely had to be art exhibitions. When Covid struck, a lot of these were shut down immediately and their future seemed bleak. Not until recently when the government lifted some of the restrictions and now at the Nairobi National Museums we have an art exhibition by an artist who goes by the name Sticky who is certainly not a newcomer in the art scene. Let us now take a look at what this artist has on display. Enjoy! The keys to the locks of the Nairobi National Museums finally clicked, opening up the facility which had been closed down due to the COVID-19 pandemic after quite some time. Artists eager to showcase what they had been working on behind the scenes, among them Sticky, quickly endeavoured to have their artworks on the museum walls. My name is Eric Sticky Moravi. I'm a visual artist and also a graffiti artist and I've been working for the last 9-10 uh, years and this is my solo exhibition what will be at number 2. It's just a, uh, like a testament of my journey. It's also like a chance for me to showcase my art and to see what the world thinks of my art. What will be at number encompasses everything that I do. It, uh, it just basically highlights what I do and most, mostly my art focuses on people uh, things, clothes, and mostly shoes, because I started painting, painting shoes before I started painting on canvas. And uh, as a result, I, uh, the name came as an accident because I, did, I didn't have like a, I didn't have like a title for my first solo exhibition here. So out of curiosity, someone said, "But you, you paint shoes a lot, and sometimes you paint people, and sometimes you do this and that." And like, basically, this is what describes me best this country, but I also do graffiti as well. So it sort of features somewhere inside. So it's just a, it's just a, a name to just best it describes me. A seamless group effort from his mentor to his curator and to the artist himself saw the planning and execution of this whole exhibition turn into a complete success. And we've been blessed by Lydia Galago, who's our curator, our contemporary arts curator. And she, she was able to know what fits where. It's always a puzzle with us artists, especially with an artist who does like a lot of different sort of subjects and mediums. But uh, we were able to plan the exhibition in that it's able to display the, the sort of range of artworks and mediums that I've worked using. So if you've noticed, there's like a lot of acrylics and canvas. Because I mean, that is what I, do. I prefer working with acrylics, they are more vibrant. But I also work in piles and I know how to work with them. Um, there's a lot of graffiti which is basically spray painted markers. And then there's also uh, pieces of gouache on paper. And there's also pieces of charcoal on, on paper. And there's also pieces of charcoal on, like, uh, sort of like uh, acrylics on, on paper and also pastel on paper. In that, my mentor, Patrick Mokabi, teaches you to not only be a one-dimensional artist but to be able to do, to do artworks with different mediums because every medium has its own best subject and every medium brings something out. If you look at charcoal pieces, they're more emotional because they're monotone. If you look at acrylic, sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're sad, sometimes they are colorful, sometimes they are sort of, you know. Uh, and also for shoes, I mean shoes are always bright and they always stand out so acrylic works really better. And for, as for graffiti artworks, I have to do spray paints because spray paints give you that sort of graffiti uh, edgy sort of like hard hard lines hard uh, sharp contrast sort of thing so it's always good as an artist to represent who you are and what speaks to you Exhibiting after the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic did come with this fair share of parks and quarks. In as much as the artist had ample time to create his artworks, he needed to have people see, appreciate and critique his artworks, which was an itch he anxiously needed to scratch. The pandemic was both a curse and a gift in disguise. In that it was a gift because it sort of slowed things down. There were no uh, deadlines for us artists because most creatives, it's, it's like we work for, we live and we live and we live for deadlines and all that. So there was a lot of time for someone to either grow or not. Uh, some of us who were like disciplined enough, we sort of discovered we could do many things. 
we found new ways to survive. We, we found new ways to create art. We found new ways to make art, even without facilities, without space, without everything and anything. Uh, and thanks to like the internet, because we were able to sell small, small paintings on the side. But it was really hard because uh, the art viewer and the art buyer, they want to see their art like up close and personal so that they can feel it. But from a photo, it's art. But it was the reality. So sometimes, uh, also, I, I tend to feel that even our buyers had to adapt to that. But the thing that drives us is number one, creating new pieces and having exhibitions. Because that is where we, we're able to be judged. We're able to see where, whether our art is good and we're able to see how it sort of relates and connects to the people. Because an artist's job is to reflect society. We cannot reflect society when you're alone in our studios or in our houses locked in our paintings. You cannot do that well. We need to, uh, as, a, as an artist, we need to like meet other people, talk to them, hang around people and see how they view our art. And also, it's also a chance for us to even review our old ideas and get new ideas because conversations, uh, good conversations bring good ideas. A great deal of discipline and time dedicated to solely creating art in large numbers and of the right quality is required for one to have a versatile solo exhibition, something the artist intentionally hit to. Well, it takes a lot of, a lot of hard work because uh, for a gallery like this, you need to have at least 40 good paintings. You know? And um, sometimes as an artist, with the time frame you're given, creating 40 pieces is not it's always an uphill task. So sometimes you, you get lost in the moment, you sort of, uh, without even knowing you're creating more and more at all, it's draining mentally, like emotionally, but you have to face the challenge. You're an artist, you, from the minute you started creating as a kid, you're always judged. You're told you have to become better, you're told you have to be this and this. That is the challenge you, you take up as a, when you grow as an artist and you want your dream. Best under pressure. This exhibition for me is like the best form of pressure, and uh, I've always wanted to challenge myself how how I sort of uh, feel and feel how the outside world feel about my art when I do a solo exhibition. I've been in so many group exhibitions uh, where most of the time you're limited to like not more than five pieces, but in a solo exhibition you bring all your own. And sometimes you, you even bring your own door, the ones that you think are not good, but maybe you just try to see whether they are good. So uh, for me, it's, it's everything. Sticky intends to keep expanding his knowledge on art and plans on having many more exhibitions. He implores the young and upcoming artists to put in the work and to also keep learning. I hope to exhibit more, I hope to mentor more, I hope to have more people become artists. Because when, when the industry grows, it becomes a bigger voice and people start paying attention to it. But when it's small, people don't pay attention to it. They think you're just doing this for fun. To the younger generations, stop sitting, start doing. Uh, get out there, be aggressive. The in, this art industry is not for, it's not for the weak at heart. It's not for the, relax, for the people who relax about it. It's up to you to, to like get out there, make connections, become better, do your artworks better, grow, ask questions, you know, like improve. So it's, that's probably the only message I will ever lose out of the message from my younger brothers and sisters because these are the guys who are our future. So yeah, and to also Kenyans, just try to support living artists. Don't import prints. We have so many artists around who can create pieces. And then yeah, support a living artist, support the arts. If you have a child who has a dream, support their dreams. Let's not, let's not uh, st stay in our own ways. Let's, let's try to be, to be better. As an artist, it's also good to have a student mentality because you're able to grow. A master is, uh, a perfect master is always the best student because they learn, they are done. Uh, they improve. On Facebook, I'm called Eric Sticky Morethi, and on Instagram, I'm called Stick underscore one er. So, yeah. 
from street graffiti to holding the second solo exhibition, Sticky has certainly come a long way.